Okay, hello again. Uh, today what we're going to do is we are going to hook up all of our solar panels together. Last time I showed that I bought that 1.5 watt solar panel sitting over there. And there's the 5 watt panel on top of the battery box. This is the 15 watt panel which I was talking about. It's sitting on top of a little mounting that I built for it using scrap metal. And what I want to do is I want to connect all them together using this solar panel hub thing from Harbor Freak Tools. You can see it on the packaging right here, a universal solar connector. It says that it can, can connect eight solar panels or 45 watt kits to it. I don't know about the 100 watt kits which say that would stay just released now but I'm pretty sure you can connect them just fine as long as you don't exceed the wattage of the connector. <laughs> the solar panel hub also came with this big connector featuring the same end to the plug but it does have thicker wire. This is supposed to go to a charge controller but I don't have that right now, so it's probably just going to go directly to the, to the battery or whatever I load I have for my system. Interestingly, it came with these little eye loop hooks. I don't know what they're really for. I know they screw into the back, but I don't know what this does for how they mount. So, so I'm just going to take them out. First off, let's get this big solar panel out of the way. And let's look at this other panel. I've taken it out because we're going to do our work to it. It was mounted to the window, but I'm going to put the big solar panel outside. Let's take a look at the battery box, which is the same since the last video. Basically, it just the wires positive and negative going to the solar panel. What we're going to do is we're going to take this out and we're going to measure the battery voltage see if it has charged over the past week. So it's actually 12.4. So it's actually 12.4 volts which means that we have lost charge from the solar panel which essentially means that the solar panel has been leaking power. This is what happens when you don't have a charge controller or at least a diode connected to your solar panel. But what we're going to do is we're going to try and connect it to the hub and see if the hub would also be full. So this is the hub. Okay, so basically how I want to connect this is I'm going to put the clips on the output. And it should go to the battery leads, but I'm not going to actually hook it up until everything else is hooked up. Because the battery does have the most power stored in it. So looking outside we do have the 15 watt panel. It's not really balanced yet. I'm probably going to dig it out and bury it a little bit under some dirt on the mounting rails, but that is in place. Now we're going to close the window partially to allow the cable to pass through. You can see this cable has a bunch of duct tape around it. This is so it won't break when it rests on the window. Also I have a piece of metal here and that will sandwich in between the window. And hold it in place. These are drill batteries which I just have stacked along here. These partially seal it. I want to get a proper seal in the future, maybe foam or something like that. And 
Now all we have to do is work on connecting our other panels back in place. Our 1.5 watt panel, which produces very little power, still has a, has the blinking light, so I'm going to put it back up where it goes. And do this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here so it can mount flat along the window instead of how it was where it was supported entirely by duct tape. And let's put it back in place. Now for the last panel, which is this one, this one does not actually have the proper connector to go to the system. You can see it has these ring terminal connectors which are not the exact type that we need so I'm going to make an adapter. But if it'll go like here maybe or I could put it along here so it can rest along the window with the other panel or maybe on top of it as well but it would be blocked by the tape. We can make our adapter later, but for right now, let's connect the panels to the hub. In now in indirect sunlight and mounted at a bad location, there is a bunch of clouds in the sky, but the 1.5 watt panel is producing around 12 volts, though it is fluctuating, and the 15 watt panel, which is actually 10 times the size of the other panel, is outside and it is at an angle and is producing about 20 volts. So I'm going to put them in the system. I don't really know if this is the best idea to be doing this. What might happen is the big panel would feed power into the little one, but this hub should have diodes in it. If it doesn't, then I would probably have to add some myself. But what I want to do is I want to get every solar panel that I have connected together and working so we can have a system that is even able to produce any power at all. Both the 15 watt panel and the 1.5 watt panel came with a set of alligator clips. They appear to be pretty much the same, but this one is insulated twice and this one is only insulated once. So we're going to use this one from the 15 watt panel to be our output. I believe they have the same thing for the 40 watt, 5 watt panel and it might be a little bit beefier for the 100 watt system. Sure they don't short up though. And let's plug it in. You can see how my meter is connected just clipped to the weights. We are measuring 19.85 volts with all of the panels. Now we are measuring 19.88. Now we are measuring about 19.84 volts or 3 volts. It is going down because there's a cloud passing over with just the 15 watt panel connected. 